journalist was injured while reporting on the mainland today. A now TV cameraman was forced onto the ground, handcuffed and dragged away by police when covering the hearing of a human rights lawyer in Beijing. This is what happened to the Now TV crew this morning after an attempt to claim their press cards back from the authorities. Cameraman Choi Chen Ming was manhandled, pushed to the ground and handcuffed. Blood was seen running down his face as he was taken away by police and loaded onto a police van. So too was Chinese human rights lawyer Xie Yan Yi. He was simply forced into another police vehicle. The lawyer, one of hundreds arrested in a crackdown on legal professions and activists back in 2015, was to attend a hearing of the Beijing Lawyers Association. As for the cameraman, he went to a hospital for a checkup upon his release from a two hour detention. I never touched them, he said. I tried to get my pass back but failed. This happened after the rights lawyer snatched my press card from them and gave it back to me. The cameraman said he was only returned to the pass after a self-claimed policeman asked him to admit fault before obstructing officers in their duties. Back in Hong Kong, the acting chief executive said he solicited help from relevant departments. We need some time to establish the facts first, okay? But, but we are very concerned about the safety of our reporters actually carrying out the duties uh, at any time, anyway. The Hong Kong Journalists Association petitioned to the central government's liaison office as Now TV issued a statement to express extreme anger over unreasonable and violent obstruction to news gathering. Last Saturday, an iCable news reporter was beaten up in Sichuan while covering the 10th anniversary of the Wanchuan earthquake. The attackers were later identified as village officials. Elmi Long, TVB News.